Allen, and one of the reasons he's a perennial fourth and nine rebounds. What's up, guys? I'm Reed, and this is my grandpa. His, you can call him Grandpa. So yeah, so this is my grandpa. So hey, I'm Grandpa. And <laughs> I'm, I think I'm his oldest relative. Is that right? Yeah. You know what? I remember when the NBA first started. That's a long I've time got ago. three great quivi trivia questions for NBA. Do you think you can answer them? Well, we're gonna do that at the end. So. Oh no, we're gonna do it right now because the. Three, or now we're doing the, it now. The three has to do with the first year that the NBA was in existence. So the first question is, what year was that? Okay, don't answer. Just think about it. The second question is, which team won the championship that year? Don't answer. Just think about it. The third question, which is the toughest one, is who was the scoring leader in that first year? Okay, you ready? You got any answers? Uh, I have a question. <laughs> I what was what, the first question again? The first question was, what year did the NBA start? 1953. Well, not quite. The year was 1947. Oh. That was a very good year because the war was over and the economy was booming and they were building new houses and new cars. And your grandpa graduated from high school in that year, 1947. Okay. So the question two was, who, what team won the championship? The Boston Celtics. No, I wish it was the Boston Celtics. No, believe it or not, it was the Philadelphia Warriors. Oh, right. Warriors? Yeah, oh. because in those days, the Warriors were in Philadelphia. Then later and they, then they, 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 they moved. And then they had Will Chamberlain. Yeah, Will Chamberlain. that's right. And they, they moved to San Francisco, and now they're the Golden State Warriors. Okay? Yeah. So that that is not the only thing that happened. Do you ever think about the funny sound of the L.A. Lakers? You know, the Minneapolis Lakers. Yeah, there are no Lakers. There are no lakes around around L.A., LA but there are plenty around Minneapolis, so that's why they moved it from Minneapolis to L.A. Anyhow, the third question. Well, you remember what the third one was? Yeah. This is the toughest of all. Who was the scoring leader? Who do you think? Walt Chamberlain. No, no. He's, he's, later on, he was the scoring leader, but the very first year was an obscure player by the name of Joe Fulks, F-U-L-K-S. And you know why he was so good? Why? He invented the fadeaway jump shot. Until then, nobody ever heard of such a thing, fading away and shooting the ball, but he invented it and he was the scoring leader. So there are my three questions. And you know what? I'm gonna quote you. As Reed says, I'm out of here. <laughs> so guys, that was my grandpa. Me and my grandpa like to talk a lot about basketball. And I'm going to be talking about stuff that I really, 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 really wanted to do. So, I will be talking about the best names right now in the NBA. So, let's get started. Now, at point guard, standing at 6 feet 5 inches, number 1 is Contavious. Caldwell Pope. So, if I pronounce something wrong, and you know how it's pronounced, it, you can leave that in the comments. So, Contavious is actually from America, which is weird because he has like such a like exotic name. Um, if he's actually from Georgia, if you want to be exact. So, that's that. And now, at shooting guard, standing at six foot six inches. Why did I put up a two? It's Timothy Luau Carbot. He is from France and the seventh man on the Philadelphia Six, 76ers, and the Sixers, you can call them that, who have a record of 19 and 20, one game below 500. 500, it's like even below zero and 1,000. So, yeah, you get what I mean. At small forward, the only superstar on this list, standing at 6 feet 11 inches, the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Well, I just said in his nickname where he's from, Greece, um, he's a star of the Bucks who are doing really well, and he's an all-star. Well, probably going to be an all-star. There's one more day of voting. So... So that team is doing well. Giannis is amazing. He's an MVP candidate. So, yeah. At power forward, standing at 6 feet 10 inches, it's 
Chununu Anuaku from Maryland. He is on the best team in the league, the Houston Rockets, and he also brought back the underhand free throw. Like, he's like Rick Barry, but just like now Rick Barry and not good. And he's just like, vroom, and it goes in. He never missed a free throw in his career. He's played 10 games. No, I'm, he hasn't played 10 games. He played 10 minutes in his whole career. So, now, at 6 feet, 11 inches, from your Miami Heat, at the center position, it's Bam Adebayo. Well, Bam actually isn't his real name. He was born with the name Irvin, so, but he legally changed it to Bam which is a lot cooler if you ask me. He is from New Jersey. You know where New Jersey is a state and you know a state that's in America and America is a country and I live in America. So that's so, yeah. And now, that's the poster. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. So, don't forget, like. Subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. This is the bell.